Hey everybody and welcome back for another video. So as discussed in our previous video when we were doing our second raised garden bed, we didn't quite finish everything with it. The next thing on the list is to put some hardware cloth across the bottom to keep any critters from burrowing up inside from the underneath. So in particular I got some half inch uh, hardware mesh so we'll be putting that across the bottom, joining any seams with zip ties, all that good stuff. So we'll be uh, getting that covered. And then we're going to level the box and uh, also put it in proper spacing from the existing box we got on site. So, uh, you know, just a few little fine tweaks and we'll be all done. And following that, the uh, garden box needs to be filled up with garden mix. And uh, after that, we should be good to go with uh, some more planting. As well, you may see behind me here, for a future uh, project, it's probably not going to happen until the box is actually full, but I got some trellis material there, some cattle panels, so we'll be uh, building a trellis between the two boxes. So that uh, may or may not happen in this video, depends on how much content I have and, and how much time it's going to take to actually fill this second box. Because it's currently 25 degrees Celsius outside, I don't really feel like shoveling much dirt today, so it's likely not going to happen today that this box gets filled up. But we will get it in place, get it leveled, get that hardware cloth on, and we'll be ready to proceed from there. So with all that said, let's get to the job. We've got some helpers around here today as well, and, uh, and we'll see how this project goes. So we'll see you on site. Alright, so here we are on site. The wind is blowing, but i got a little break in it just to talk to you for a second. Anyways, I'm going to be setting the beds three feet apart, I'm going to level this out, and I'm going to get it up on its side, put on the mesh, and uh, continue with the leveling, and get it in place, and that should pretty much uh, finish off this part of the video. So uh, I'll do that now, let's see how it goes.
All right, not sure if you can hear me, but it's level, so now it's time to put on the mesh. So we'll start the mesh now. All right, so what I got here is some half inch hardware cloth and uh, or welded hardware mesh, whatever you want to call it. All right, so I'll get this opened up and we'll start applying that on the bottom.
Alright, so the bed is installed, meshed, leveled, and that's going to be it for today. It's getting dark here now, it's late evening, and uh, I'll see you guys in the shed to finish up. Alright, so we're back in the workshop. I didn't know if you guys could hear me outside. The wind was starting to pick up. Clouds were getting grey. We're forecasted for rain an hour ago, so it's already late, but you can tell on the air that it's on the way. So I wanted to get everything packed up, get in here. But as you saw, the raised garden bed is now level. We got the bottom meshed. I don't know if you noticed at the end, I'm sure you did, you had to, that uh, I started running out of mesh. So of course, I went to every place that I could find a piece of mesh, including the extra bit of mesh that I used to hold the feeder onto the wall in the chicken coop, okay? That's how much I was scrounging for mesh to try and get that done. But it never happened. It's, you know, lots of zip ties later, every piece of mesh is used. So there was definitely no wastage now at this point, okay? Uh, but uh, I had to go back to Home Depot. I stopped there towards the end when there was a little, probably one foot by one foot square left. Went to Home Depot, picked up a bunch more mesh, and uh, and came back to finish the job. So that's what, uh, what ended up happening off camera. So here we are, the day is complete. The job is complete, which is spot on. The, the bed is ready to be filled at this point in time. So it's a good spot to stop this video, finish off this day, uh, keep this vlog uh, condensed to today's work, okay? So this is where it'll end. I should uh, hopefully have this video ready tonight and up for you guys by tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, that's where things stand at this point in time. What's left to do now, we need to fill the bed, uh, put up some uh, cattle paneling between the two beds as a trellis. I'm sure you've seen that elsewhere on YouTube, very popular thing to do especially with raised garden beds. It's a perfect opportunity to put some nice cattle paneling in an archway between the two beds. And uh, so we'll get that filled up, get it fertilized, and uh, try to get some, you know, late summer, early fall crops. Um, and our summer's kind of just, just recently started, so we may be brave and just try some summer crops as well. Not a concern. We're in the learning stages anyway, so we might as well experiment, right? So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to clue up today. So it's all leveled, groundwork's done, fill, well not fill, uh, mesh is on. Yeah, it's a good day's work, alright? This is uh, about where I planned for us to finish off today, and this is what we did. So, until next time, I hope you're happy, hope you're healthy, take care of each other, and peace out.